hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel so for the period of like three months now i've been going through a spiritual journey and i've been asking myself a whole lot of questions about my identity and what what is it god wants me to do you know what is god's plan for my life i don't know if you are in that same state if you are going through what you know i went through within the three months which is a state of confusion a state of you know wanting to hear from god directly where you just want to you know know what's the next step for your life and to really figure out if what you're doing is the right thing and all of those confusion okay so at that time i had to really reflect on my journey so far you know all the things that i've been through you know if you've been following me very well you know that i'm a very spiritual person and my walk with god has been a journey from birth you know so my spirituality has really you know grown to a level where i can literally say god really speaks to me so in that in that three months i discovered something very powerful and it's in the scripture that's why i want to share with you guys trust me it's going to bless your soul i know you're going to like it i just know it's going to do something great in your life so i discovered these five amazing scriptures in the bible that turned my life around and number one of them one of them is in the psalm it's the book of psalm especially psalm 51 I started studying Psalm 51 and I turned it into a prayer and ever since that time I kind of feel my connection with God so close and trust me Psalm 51 is not just an ordinary uh, um, psalm it's a very powerful psalm it's a psalm that talks about forgiveness it's a psalm that talks about cleanliness and trust me you cannot go into the presence of God without being holy without being cleansed and that's the best psalm in the world that you can use to really really feel the cleansing of, of of your spirit and of your soul so psalm 51 is the best when it comes to you know asking for the mercy of god and trust me that period i could literally feel that i am i am cleansed and i'm very much in you know connection with god that's a very powerful psalm. It changed my life completely. Okay, so the next um, psalm, 35. That's like Psalm 35. Hmm. It's a battle psalm. For instance, you are going through a state of um, dilemma and you seek um, God's um, intervention. Like you cannot fight the battle. Psalm 35 gives you all you want psalm 35 is awesome it's really really awesome i use it mostly at night at exactly 12 o'clock midnight when i wake up in my, for my midnight prayer i take psalm 35 seven times trust me and trust god for that psalm that psalm is one of the powerful spiritual battle psalm that you need to use as a christian if you don't eat, dine with Psalm 35, you've not started. Psalm 35 is really powerful. I'm going to read it for you. Just So I'm, I'm going to just read a few of the verses. It says, Plead my cause, O Lord, with those that strive with me. Fight against those that fight against me. That's powerful. Asking God to fight against those that fight against you. Listen, the battle is not yours. But the battle is of the lord so psalm 35 is really a battle uh, um battle psalm that you need to use to war against the enemy and because we are not fighting a carnal war we are fighting a spiritual war that's why you need psalm 35 to back you up all right so the third psalm that is so powerful that you need as a christian is psalm 91 psalm 91 it talks about um dwelling in the presence of god talks about the protection it's a divine protection psalm so in this pandemic this is a psalm to really know in this in this pandemic this is the psalm that you need especially when it says what it says in verse 10 psalm 91 verse 10 it says no evil shall befall you 
nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Praise the Lord. That's just it. COVID-19 cannot come near your dwelling place. The plague cannot even near your home as long as you have Jesus with you. Divine protection. 91 talks about divine protection. And really, God uses this psalm to do wonders in our lives. And which, when I discovered it, it has really changed my life. Every morning when I'm going out, this is the psalm that I read. When I, go, when I come back home, this is the psalm that I read. And I want to encourage you to do the same thing. Okay, so the fourth psalm. It's powerful, powerful psalm that I came across. It's a one-to-one. Hmm. I don't know if you've known, if you've read it before or you know about it. Psalm 1 to 1 is a psalm where you are looking for favor. Where you want favor from God and you want favor from man. Read this psalm every midnight. Seven times. I don't know what you're trusting God for. But Psalm 1 to 1 will do the job for you. It says... Mm. When I look up to the hills, well, from where do my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. It's a one powerful psalm that changed my whole life. This three months of my life. Trust me, if God leave it, I know it will change your life. Just study it and your life will not remain the same. So the last one, yes, this last one actually is so common, but it baffles me how people underrate it. I don't know growing up in primary school we say it often as kids and sometimes we don't even know the meaning of what we are saying but now that i'm an adult i've come to realize that there's power in this psalm which is psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd i shall not want like can you imagine the lord is your shepherd you cannot want you can't lack anything and when i started reading this psalm the Lord opened my eyes to let me know that I don't have to worry about things anymore. That though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that I will fear no evil because he is with me. And he's going to guide me through the, the journey. So I want to encourage you to study the psalm. These five psalms will change your life. Make it a habit to study these psalms every day. If your life did not change, if your life did not experience another dimension, then God is not God. So I want to encourage you, the best time to study this scripture is in your quiet time. And then when you want to use it for your prayers, 12 o'clock a.m. It's a midnight prayer thing. Wake up. Pray with these sounds. Even if it's for two hours, Pray with the Psalms. And as you pray, connect with God. Everything you are trusting God will definitely manifest in Jesus' name. Guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye. Like a rainbow, you paint my world. Like a sunrise, you bright my days Like an ocean, your love never dries My heart reaches out, reaches out to you, Lord Your love is beautiful, your love is kind Your love is the sweetest of all, and no one ever knows Your love is beautiful your love is kind Your love is the sweetest of all